Hi guys, it's me, Ida Milante, and you're watching Dare to Hope. Congratulations to all of you because uh, for some areas, I know some of the areas in the Philippines are GCQ na. And I think this is the last week na we are on a GCQ mode and then we will be convert converted with a, the new normal na less strict siguro na it will be less strict and more okay sana with with our way of living. And for some naman, na nasa modified enhanced community quarantine will be um, converted into general community quarantine na less strict than with MECQ. So congratulations to all of us. And don't forget to really avoid then talaga um, contacting with people, please maintain social distancing, wear your mask all the time and yun just stay healthy and wala pang vaccine that will cure um, COVID-19 so I hope that we will be um, eat healthy foods take care of our immune system and be healthy okay so for this video we are going to talk about how to take care of our mental health during and after um, quarantine so we will talk about that for this video okay so before anything else I would like to give you a scenario okay so for some some people cannot survive with isolation but for some they can survive with what with isolation and during just this quarantine our emotions are not really stable I believe not only some but for all of us our emotions are what not stable and okay, so diba, for other people they have this pattern this routine on how to be productive and then during quarantine during, during lockdown it was all changed that is the vision of other people and for some naman um, they love I being with other people aside from their family they want to be with other people because for some then they have issues back home and then they want to be with other people for them to express themselves and and in that way they um it is a channel for them to, to express themselves so it was really an adjustment during quarantine and we are and during quarantine alam you ba we are prone to overthink right we are prone to overthink and then we have and this um, we have the tendency to be depressed to get anxious and that leads to suicide so it's very dangerous and for after quarantine naman the hashtag new normal um, we have now the social distancing it's not really na uh, easy to be with people because we, we need to maintain social distancing and then there's fear after this quarantine I know we will have the fear to um, to be infected with the virus and then there will be a lot of adjustments with timetables with our schedules because it was supposed to be um, this coming June will be enrollment will be the start of the classes and there's this pandemic so there will be adjustment with the classes with the work and with the style of dealing with things and with other people okay so i'd like to share to you my case now before kasi the lockdown i was 
trying to find a job. And then it was announced na there will be lockdown, so I have no I have no reason to to go to go and travel. So I was here lang in my home, and then I am thankful and I take advantage of the quarantine to to study and to review my uh, for the upcoming exams. I have NMAT and I have board exam. And during this quarantine, alam nyo ba, it was um, announced na this coming July, my board exam will be postponed. And then, the NMAT exam has no date pa din. So, I am again in the valley of um, deciding where to work, um, how to find job, and so on. And, you know, during quarantine, then in my case, like super, I have this um, uh, overthinking tendencies. And, you know, I am overthinking during quarantine. And uh, I was over um, thinking, and I was um, overthinking then to continue YouTubing. Because uh, I'm jobless, and then my exams were cancelled and then I'm not qualified to do this because my my um, ba, my thinking that's why I use the platform of YouTube is to be a blessing to people eh, I'm not qualified but who am I to talk about certain things eh, I'm jobless you know, because I'm not pretty <laughs> but I am very um, conscious of things and I was really overthinking but I'm very thankful for the last week, uh, weekend, especially the weekend, um, last weekend, because uh, I had the chance to talk with my family and some of my friends, and I'm really encouraged to continue life and to continue YouTubing. That's why I'm back. Uh, I may not be qualified to do these things, but I know this, um, this chance, opening my life to other people is uh, a chance to give hope to people and I I hope that I can give hope to others also for those who are watching and um, I hope that this platform we will fight together like I know I am not on the peak of my career of my spirituality but I am excited to share to you the progress. I'm excited to share to you my life and how I struggled with my relationship with Jesus. So I hope that this platform will be a blessing to you as well. So Yun, I am really encouraged to continue um, YouTubing. And after quarantine, I hope that all of us will have this mindset. We are not in control of anything. And then let's do what we need to do today and then the last one God is a God of tomorrow we don't know what lies ahead but I know that God is ahead of us okay so again let's go back to the question how to take care of our mental health during and after quarantine I'll give you one two three four five five um, tips and I hope that this can be a blessing okay so so first one be aware and acknowledge that you are overthinking already. So you need to be aware. Parang if you are in a room or in an isolation stage, and then parang you are um, overthinking na, you need to uh, be aware of yourself. Uh, parang either you are overthinking already. So you need, the first step is to really be aware and acknowledge that you are overthinking already. And then we will go to the second step or the second tip that I would like to share to you. It's um, um, okay. So the second is to pause and take a deep breath. Because in that way, diba, you acknowledge na that you are overthinking. So pause for a while, take a deep breath, and then uh, organize your thoughts. I know that you can relate with me. Now we hate gaps. Para why pause for a while? But again, we need to have this gap to pause for a while and organize your thought and take a deep breath because it will help you organize your So let's go for the third um, tip that I would like to share to you. It's about scheduling the using of your social media accounts. 
um, again, diba, it's not healthy to be always on screen. The radiation is not good. At the same time, if you notice yourself, you become moody when you are always on your phone, always on your laptops, always on your social media accounts. So you need to schedule your using of your social media accounts. Because in my case then, it was very helpful to, uh, to separate yourself with, social, your, with your social media accounts. For the fourth tip that I would like to share to you, engage in physical activities. It's not only being sporty, um, running. You can have your physical activities on your home. Like do um, laundry, wash dishes, um, be a plant mama. Aside from diba, separating yourself with social media account, then what will you do? Um, physical activities that will help you be busy um, even though you are on your And for the last one, I would like to share to you, read his word. It's very important to read the Bible, read, 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 read your devotional books, listen to audio verse, or listen to different sermons for you to um, be helped with your spirituality for you to have peace because in my case then uh, Many times I rebel to Jesus like I don't want to pray. I don't want to read my Bible But again, we need to go back to him and no matter how you fail Him again and again go back to him because his grace is sufficient and his mercy always remains and we don't have any option but to go back and embrace him again that's it for this video. I hope that you have learned something. Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to get updated um, whenever I upload a new video. Take care of your mental health. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!